Hello everyone, in this recording I'm going to talk about the sensitivity report that we get from Excel. There are two parts to it. There's a one table that says variable cells and another table that says constraint cells. Let's first talk about the variable cells table. So what kind of information can we get from this variable cells table? The first one here we see the first column is the final value. This gives us the optimal solution to our problem. So we know in order to maximize our profit in this case, we need to make 122 cost pass and, and 78 hydroluxes. Reduced cost here, I'm going to explain in a different video. The objective coefficient here just tells you the coefficients that are associated with the each decision variable in the objective function. So in this blue rich hot top problem, the coefficient here was the profit per unit of aqua spa produce, and that's 350. And um, objective coefficient for hydroluxes was, again, the profit per unit for hydroluxes. So in this table, we can actually look at how our optimal solution or how our objective function value changes with the changes in the ob objective coefficient values. So let's take a look at the aqua spas. So if we were to increase the objective coefficient of aqua spas by 100 units, up to 100 units, our optimal solution will not change. Also, we can decrease it by 50 and our optimal solution will stay the same. What does this mean when I say optimal solution? I mean the numbers, the values of the decision variables, x1 and x2, so the final value of Aquaspas for 122 and final value for Hydroluxus 70 as they don't change. If I, if I keep the coefficient between 300 and 450 for Aquaspas, I will still get this solution. Even though my optimal solution stays the same, my objective function value, my final objective function value will change because we are changing the coefficient associated with a decision variable. In this problem, our objective function was, I think, 350 times x1 plus 300 times x2. So if we were to increase the objective coefficient of our cost pause by 1, so let's say we increase it to 351, which is in the allowable increase or decrease range, so I can say that our optimal solution does not change, then the way I will find the new objective function value is by taking the new objective coefficient and plugging it into the objective function. So instead of having 350 times x1 plus 300 times x2, now we will have 351 times x1 plus 300 times x2. And if you want to find the optimal objective function value in this scenario, we know the solution 122 and 78. So we will plug in those values and that will give us our new objective function value. If we were to increase or decrease the objective coefficient beyond these allowable ranges, then we don't know what's going to happen. We will have to rerun the problem. This holds assuming all other coefficients remain constant. We can only change, increase or decre decrease a coefficient one at a time. So if we're changing aqua spas, coefficient, we can't change any other coefficient. From this the table, at this point, we are basically seeing what ranges can the objective coefficients be without changing our optimal solution, without changing the optimal values of x1 and x2.